Rizza Islam and Ben X felt the need to slide in my son mom DMs and say we'll kill her and my son. They threatened my, my son mom. Now don't ask me why they did that. Cause up until that point, I had never had an infraction with the inner one. The Holy Quran teaches us to hurl truth and falsehood until we knock out his brains. We also taught when truth comes, falsehood vanishes and it's forever a vanishing thing. I do want to say this just for uh, discount purposes. I'm not anti-government, not a black extremist. I'm anti-corruption, right? Now, um, as the leader of the black community and as a military level general, I will not, I'm not going to never try to throw nothing on no dirt on no man. I will say this about Riza Islam as far as what is wrong with him. The reason I even know who Riza Islam is, right, is because he slid in my son's mom's DMs and said he would kill my kids. I never knew who that man even was. That's what made me get on it. So why the f he slid in her DMs and said that? I have no clue. I guess the Nation of Islam has a problem with up and coming black speakers in the community and they feel like they got to be the only ones who the conscious people. So I guess they tried to bully me and suppress me. So I just want to let you know why I have a problem with him before I answer the rest of that question. Right. He slid in my son's, so you don't think I'm just attacking a random man being a hater. Right. This how I even, this would even make me do my research on him. He slid in my son's mom's DM and basically was like him and Ben X. And was like, they were- Brother Ben. Yeah, Brother Ben. This how I know who they is. <laughs> now, of course, I've never said anything like that before. This story about myself and Brother Reza doing this is a made up lie, complete lie but he's told this lie on multiple platforms. Now, usually on the internet, it's usually one person's word against the other word, and you choose to believe what you want to believe. But in this situation, that's not what this is. I'm going to provide documentation, receipts, and videos of him speaking himself. Because at the end of the day, documentation always beats conversation. And was like, they were- Brother Ben. Yeah, Brother Ben. This how I know who they is. <laughs> Now, when this first video, you see him say that he didn't know who Brother Reza was, nor he, nor did he know who I was. That's the first lie. If you look at the screen right now, I have on the screen a screenshot from Young Pharaoh. He actually inboxed me on Twitter trying to debate. Uh, back at that time, they was doing a lot of conscious community stuff going off on different people and doing debates and that's how they was making you know some money he approached me on a financial tip saying hey this would be financially lucrative for you as well whatever the case may be but as you see he's the one who reached out to me i didn't reach out to him so he did in fact and indeed know exactly who i was because he wanted to debate or have a discussion about islam charge for it make money for it I declined. Now let me bring clarity. When I said that I agreed with what he talked about with that type of Islam, I was talking about the Arabs. A lot of the stuff he was exposing about the Arabs, that's a culture. That's not our culture. A lot of stuff they do and how they think is not our way. Now I want you to pay attention to the date on the left hand side, March 9th. That's very important, which I'm going to talk about a little later. Let's read it. Remember that time Ben X agreed with me on how Islam was false? Yeah, me too, because it was just damn near two weeks ago. Niggas out here saying one thing behind closed doors and another thing to the public. Let it be known that I'm not going after the NOI, but never will I let a sucker nigga try and play me like a sucker. With that being said, I love y'all. Well, the reason he made this post is because I went in response to what he was saying about the nation of Islam. And he made this post to try to make people think that I agree with him in the, you know, behind closed doors, but was disagreeing in the public. Remember, this is March 9th. This is before we even had our talk. This is before we even had our conflict resolution. Remember, he told everybody, I didn't know these guys until then, until we got on this call, until they sent this DM. I'm going to wrap all this in a bow. A bow tie by the end of this. So I call him on the phone and I said, yo, it was me, him and Ben. I slid it. I put him in a group message. Now, I don't have the Instagram page anymore or else I'll be able to show you. I now, here's the second lie. 
He said he put us in a group message on Instagram. That's not true. We had our conversations on something called Google Hangouts. At that time, you know, people communicated through Google Hangouts and we had a phone conversation and we conversated shortly through email. It wasn't even Instagram DM. So why he's lying about that, I don't know. But it was actually Google Hangout. And as you can see on my screen right now, here is the group chat. Uh, here's the group chat with myself, Brother Reza, Brother Willie, and also Young Pharaoh. Um, also, check the date. I want to show you guys the dates because this is very important. The reason I want to show you guys the date is because we had this call on March the 14th, the live, where he said he never talked to us before, you know, around that time, right? Well, if you look at the, the events that's happening before that date, it would actually show and prove to, to you that he indeed was the uh, aggressor. He indeed was the one who started it. And we was only responding in defense of what he was saying about the Nation of Islam and the minister. We didn't randomly go attack somebody because they're talking about Islam. That makes no sense. Now, for those of you all who want to play angel's advocate and say, well, Brother Ben, there is no proof that you didn't DM them. Here's the first thing before I get to the proof that it wasn't us that did it. Why would someone screenshot that I agree with some of the things he said about Islam culture when it comes to the Arabs, but you wouldn't screenshot me DMing your baby mother about killing them? This is how I got on Nate. This is, if it wasn't for them doing that, we would have never had a conversation. Y'all just think about that. He screenshotted and posted. Not to hold on. Let's look at the date. Let's look at the date now. He screenshotted and posted on March the 9th, a couple days before we actually did our live stream. Very important to remember these dates. Now, he screenshotted and posted me so-called agreeing with him about Islam. But you don't have no screenshots of me or Reza saying that we are going to kill your baby mother when that's supposedly the only reason we on the line or on the jack? Riza Islam and Ben X felt the need to slide in my son mom DMs and say they would kill her and my son. They threatened my, my son mom. Now, don't ask me why they did that. Because up until that point, I had never had an infraction with the NO1. Right. He slid in my son's, so you don't think I'm just attacking a random man being a hater. Right. This how I even, this would even make me do my research on him. He slid in my son's mom's DM and basically was like him and Ben X and was like they were- Brother Ben. Yeah, Brother Ben. This how I know who the they is. <laughs> Here's a video himself mentioning someone DMing his baby mother and it wasn't me or Brother Reza. Now, we can't control what other people do who may be in love with the Nation of Islam or love the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And at that time, honestly, the conscious community was full of drama. They wanted to see the back and forth. They would create fake profiles to make comments to make people go back and forth. Everybody know that about the conscious community around that time, 2018. But the point I'm making here is that in this video, you can obviously see that he's not talking about me or Brother Reza inboxing his baby mom. It's another person. In fact, in this same video, he's going to tell his people to leave me alone and stay off my page. Now, why would you do that to someone who just threatened your baby mom? All right, so we got to get this way out. The, we got to get this out the way real quick. All right, so you see my last post, and you know what it was about. If you didn't see it, then too bad. And so I'm going to delete my map, my last post in honor of me and the discussion that me and Ben just had, all right, privately. And so with that being said, uh, he gonna talk to his his side of the world, and I'm gonna talk to mine. If you fuck with me, you follow me. Do me a favor, stay off that man page. And I don't know if you are or you not. I'm just putting it out there. Stay off that man page. Don't DM that man. Any videos that I posted regarding Nation of Islam, if whether you agree with him or not, keep that shit over here. Keep that shit to yourself. Do not DM that man. And he gonna talk to his camp. Cause I don't need y'all. Could I don't care what what any Muslim or affiliate of the Nation of Islam feel about me. I don't need nobody writing my baby mother or nothing, making no threats, because I'm not playing no games with nobody. And so that being said, he's going to talk to his camp, 
and handle that. I'm going to talk to my camp and handle that. And this situation ain't got to get ugly. And so with that being said, I'll delete my last post. And we're going to handle this shit like gentlemen. Peace. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? So I call him on the phone. And I said, yo, it was me, him, and Ben. I slid it. I put him in a group message. Now, I don't have the Instagram page anymore. Or else I'd be able to show you. I, I just want to point out how convenient it is that now... The excuse is I don't have the Instagram page anymore, so I can't share any any receipts or proof. Don't worry, I can, but we gonna get to that a little later. The reason we even responded and was making response videos to what he was saying specifically about the Nation of Islam and the minister is because he was already talking about the Nation of Islam. If I told him that I agree with what he's saying about the Arab culture and Islam or what he's talking about, why would I come out and make a response video if that's all he's talking about? I'm known for making a response video anytime somebody lies on the Nation of Islam or the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So him to try to paint this picture now as if we ain't got the receipts. Like he never said anything about the Nation of Islam and we randomly inbox people who don't say nothing about the Nation of Islam, who don't say nothing about the minister threatening to kill their children. That that narrative makes no sense. Now let's listen to how he explains the story and then I'll tell you guys about what actually happened. Oh, Rizza, I slide in Rizza and Ben X DMs on the phone. I mean, on, on Instagram, real gentleman, I ain't get rah-rah. And I said, hey, let's all hop on the phone because I seen what you just said about my son to my baby mother. So slide your number. I ain't gonna do, we ain't gonna do no internet. We gonna get on the phone. So we get on the three-way. And like I said, I put this on Buddha. I look you dead in your eyes and tell you the whole story. We get on the three-way. I told Ben X and Rizza, I said, we on the three, I said, we all on the phone? I said, I ain't recording, is you recording? Cause I'm not recording this call. So once we confirmed that we wasn't recording it, I said, listen to me, are you serious about them threats that you made? Because it's a mosque right around the corner, I will go kill everybody in that motherfucking mosque. You think I give a fuck about you talking about you from the NOI? I don't give a fuck about none of that, you fruit of the Islam, none of that. I don't know who the fuck is you think you threatening. I don't know if this is what y'all normally do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all just normally wake up and slide niggas DMs and say you're going to kill their kids. Not mine. I go ham for my kids. I go ham. So, boom. They get to pumping. I mean, excuse me. So, Rizza Islam, like, no, 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 brother. I apologize. Uh, uh. So, I told Rizza, I said, listen, bro, I'm still on parole right now. I'm on parole right now. So, I'm like, I'm on parole right now. Like, you talking to me like I'm not a felon. Like, who, like, you need to do your research on people before you just start threatening them. Now, first, this whole thing about used to be a hit man, got 50 bodies. Listen, I'm not impressed by none of that. I, I personally don't give a damn. I haven't killed anybody. Uh, and I'm proud that I haven't killed a black man. I'm proud that I haven't killed a black woman. I'm proud that I haven't been in a situation where the conflict has been so disagreeable that we had to kill one another. So to me, that's nothing to brag about. You know, uh, I, I know children that has killed people. I know an 11 year old that has killed someone. I, I know people that knows how to pull the trigger. And that's nothing to brag about that you've killed a lot of people. To me, uh, it's actually something to brag about to all my brothers and sisters who haven't made the decision and had to kill someone now if you are killing someone in self-defense if somebody is attacking attacking you all praise is due to a lot we fight with those who fight with us but this whole bragging about killing people and this tough guy talk listen man I, I it's not impressive to me it's not something to brag about to me especially when it comes to our own people but here's what actually happened we got on a phone call because of his misrepresentation of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. The phone call, we talked about uh, Malcolm X situation, uh, talked about how he thought Malcolm X this and, and, and that. Uh, we even addressed maybe him visiting a mosque himself so he can see it for himself. It was a two hour phone call. I actually, at this point, wish it was recorded because it was honestly a great call. It wasn't no beef. It wasn't no back and forth. Uh, we was, you know, he had his side and we had our side. And, uh, you know, as young people, we wanted to leave that phone call and say, hey, man, let's go show the people about how we can come together, although we have differences. That was the phone call. This whole, he called us, 
he pressed us to get on the phone and when he got on the phone, he charged us up. None of that happened. In fact, Brother Reza made a Facebook post about it. And if you see the Facebook post on the screen, it says, Assalamu alaikum, myself, young Pharaoh, uh, we will be on a live tonight on Facebook on the phone call conference now. All is well. The minister teaches us precisely. Simply follow the teachings and his example. Peace. Well, the reason he stated that is because it was a good phone call. It was none of what he actually said on this video. Now, I'm going to play this clip from No Jumper where Flacco actually talks about what our actual problem was. He denies it and said that after our phone call or after, you know, we so-called DMS baby mothers when he started to go in on the NOI. Check this out. And again, play close attention to the dates that I'm about to bring up. No, so Reza Alamanum was kind of mad at you for your, your post about Mr. That ain't, that ain't what happened. Okay. He capping. That came after. Okay, ha, speak on, no, I yo, got speak on, on it. Top. <laughs> I got on fairy top. I got on fairy, big fairy top. Speak on it. Listen, this is how we got into it. This is the real true story, man. This is the real true story. This is the real true story, Reza. You know that. <laughs> you Reza watching this right now. <laughs> I beat it. Let me stop on But anyway, this is the real true story. Yo, listen, he's probably is, in a bow tie right now watching this. Man. RZA is <laughs> tightening it up. Now, this is what happened. RZA Islam and Ben X felt the need to slide in my son mom DMs and say they would kill her and my son. They threatened my, my son mom. Now, don't ask me why they did that. Because up until that point, I had never had an infraction with the NOI. Yeah, <laughs> so, they, so he slid in my, in my son mom DMs talking gangster. Now, to me, I'm like, obviously, y'all must think I'm like a nerdy-ass white boy or something. I don't know what y'all think I am, but I'm not the one. So I put, I kept it gangster. It didn't get on the internet yet. This is how it got on the internet. I slide back in ADMs, and I'm like, yo, yo, drop your number. You feel me? Let's jump on the jet. So we jump on the car. I put this on my kids, bro. I put this on my kids. I put this on my Eternals. I put this on, I put this on goddamn my nigga Ira, my nigga Mix. I put this on Brolo. This is exactly what happened on this phone, bro. I don't got to do no cap. We jump on the phone. Now, if you take that narrative just the way that he's painted, he wants everybody to believe that he wasn't doing nothing wrong, wasn't talking about nobody. He was innocent. We, we out of nowhere came in his baby mama's DM, threatening to kill her and, and the son. And he didn't do nothing, and he started to turn up after we did that. That's what he gives you all. But here's why I told you guys to pay close attention to the dates. If you look at this video right here, this is Sonetta and Sinful the P talking about the call that we had or the back and forth that had been going on because Young Pharaoh made his videos. I made my videos in response. And as you see, this says March 14th, 2018. This is March 14th, 2018. In 18, I want you guys to listen to what Sinful the P said, Young Pharaoh said about the minister. Now, the reason this is important, because what he said that he heard and everybody else at that time heard, this is the disrespect that he was doing before we even had that call. Check it out. Now, I understand that some of you are Young Pharaoh fans. And um, I love the brother did. But if you think that that was wise for that young brother to call Farrakhan a bitch, I question whether or not, you know, uh, like how old are you? If you thought that that was wise, then you are a fool. You pumping that young brother up and that young brother just have a little, he just got a little baby. So he have a family. And that's what you got to think about is your family first. It's not about being um, a coward or being scared. So because the brother reconciled with my brother Ben, and shout out to Ben X, man, who has always been on a respectful path, who I have never seen disrespect anybody, even if he disagree with you. He will not disrespect you because why? That's how the nation is teaching these young brothers. That's how he's brought up. You understand? Shout out to my young brother, Ben X, the way you handled that situation. 
You didn't get emotional and come back out and went crazy. Hell no. Now, the other day I was looking at the comments on Real Tune TV's uh, YouTube channel. And what actually surprised me is some people actually know what the real story was. There was a couple of comments, one in particular, that actually broke down the whole timeline and even mentioned the Google Hangout. Now, when that person mentioned Google Hangout, I knew they knew what the full story was because that's actually the platform that we was on. It wasn't on no Instagram DM group or anything like that. But a lot of people in the comment section on Real Tune TV actually um, know that he's lying because they know the timeline. The story doesn't add up. Uh, the story actually doesn't make sense. And the way that he's saying things is a lot of hyperboles. For those who don't know what that means, a lot of exaggerations in the story. And to be honest, flat out lies. I don't know why he's going on this rant. Uh, uh, I don't know why he's going on this rant, lying, bringing this up, making up the whole story. I don't know what his intentions is, but a lie is my witness. This is a complete lie that he's talking about for sure. And the most sad part about this is that he done put this on Buddha and put this on all type of people. Listen to this. So I put this on my kids, bro. I put this on my kids. I put this on my eternals. So I put this on... I put this on goddamn my nigga Ira, my nigga Mix. I put this on Brolo. This is exactly what happened on this phone, bro. I don't got to do no cap. We jump on the phone. Look at how he put this on all these close people. But it's a flat out lie. Now, everything I've shown up until this point, that ain't even a good part. I want you guys to see the real story, what really happened. Because he must have forgot that his old video, breaking down what the real story was, was still on YouTube. Let's check it out. Now, if you click on that link, it will take you to this video right here. Now, this video, okay, was done literally two days ago. All right? Two days ago. This is when me, Brother Ben X, and Brother Rizza, okay, decided to make a just decision for the public and hash out our issues regarding certain comments that were made, okay, and certain actions that were made by each other. And so now let me give you the story dialogue, correct, right? Now, if you saw in that video and you look at the date, it says March 12th. That's when we actually went live and did our video. March the 12th. Very important. Now, this video, okay, was done literally two days ago. All right? Two days ago. This is when me, Brother Ben X and Brother Rizza, okay, Decided to make a just decision for the public. Now, on the No Jumper interview and on Real Tune TV, he makes it seem like the reason we went live is because Reza came up with this idea, let's go live and act like and fake like, make it look good that we unified and that we, you know, whatever. Goddamn, they're like, oh, we don't want to be arguing in front of the community, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We'll we make it look good. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? There was a lecture coming up involving me, okay, where I was getting ready to present information that I believe to expose falsehoods about Islam, okay, and the Quran. Now, in doing so, okay, members of the Nation of Islam took it upon themselves to come inside my comments, okay, and make unhealthy statements about me speaking on Islam. And so this ensued to a conflict that brew between me and the nation of Islam. And so as that conflict began to brew, it got out of hand. And I did a series of videos on my YouTube channel and I posted videos on my Instagram to where I presented factual information, but I also took personal shots. I was I had I had said nothing about the nation of Islam yet. Right. They approached me. But I also took personal shots. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Now you just heard him yourself say that he had made several posts and he also took personal shots. The personal shots was very disrespectful, calling the minister out his name for no reason, uh calling the honorable Elijah Muhammad out of his name. No reason, no facts to bring it up, no documentation to bring it up, just words. So as you see, these stories are not adding up. 
what he's saying now in 2023 and what he said when he was telling the real story back then are two different stories. Now he's apologizing for the personal shots and disrespect that he was saying in his videos, which is the only reason we made any type of response videos. Now this video that I'm about to show you right here is proof that it wasn't myself nor brother Reza that inbox his baby mom again or that had anything to say after I live because this video that I'm showing you guys right now is a video he made after our live stream and he's about to complain about an elder that was in the nation of Islam that was displeased with it thought we should have did something different whatever that's his personal opinion but this goes to show you guys that it had nothing to do with myself or brother Reza inboxing his baby mom or Whatever the case may be, his problem was afterwards other people who had problems, not myself or Brother Reza, but myself and Brother Reza have the platform. Myself and Brother Reza got the name. So it's very interesting that he goes on these platforms and mention myself and Brother Reza, but don't mention the person who he really had a problem with. And so now what I have to do is take it upon myself to make sure that if somebody decides to act outside of protocol, okay, or this agreement that we just had publicly, which was a beautiful thing that's being ruined once again by the older generation, I have to be able to beat it, okay, in the long run. Could it be cloud chasing? Now this next video, he's going to talk about what the actual agreement was and what he really apologized for because he took the video down if I had the actual video when we went live all together, myself, him, Brother Reason, Brother Willie, it would really destroy this whole situation because we talked about what actually went wrong, what the problem was on that live. But he deleted it off his YouTube. And when I re-uploaded it on my last YouTube, he sent the copyright strike to take it off my page. So hear it for yourself. And so in that video that you see of me, Reza, and Ben, Okay, we all came to an agreement, and it was another brother involved uh, named Willie. We all came to an agreement, all right, to hash out the situation. And as far as my half of the agreement, okay, I agreed that anything outside of factually presented information, freedom of speech, or me expressing my opinion, okay, was unhealthy and unnecessary. And I would apologize and retract that statement as a man. Now, in this agreement, you hear him talk about he's not going to talk about any other information outside of factual information, and he's not basically going to be taking personal shots. Well, if you wasn't taking any personal shots, why was that even a part of the agreement? You know I exist. I don't know that you exist. So you watching me, I'm not watching you. And then you come out of nowhere saying, basically, if I don't be quiet about what I'm talking about, which, mind you, I, was, I, had, I had said nothing about the Nation of Islam yet. Right. They approached me. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? If you wasn't getting personal and disrespectful, why would you even apologize for that? Let me drive this point a little deeper. After we got off the phone call with him, me and Brother Reza, he talked about a song that he was making on that call, which again goes back to the call wasn't just about, oh, I done called and charged him up. And it was about everything but that. But at towards the end of the phone call, he said that he had a song that he was making and it included the minister. He wrote us an email saying, hey, I got this song coming out. I got the minister words in there, but this is an old song. Why would he write us that? Why would he email that? Because our phone call was only about addressing the falsehood and the misunderstanding that he had about the Nation of Islam and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. This is an email that I sent to, uh, all right, let me block out, let me block out people's emails so y'all don't be emailing me, brother. I want it, I'm putting everything on the record. Cause I'm not going for nobody swindling me, lying or trying to swag me. I've been set up before and all of that. I'm not going through that again. This is an email I sent to brother Ben X and Rizzo. You can clearly see. All right. I sent them this song I made called New Freezer, which I will be releasing off my next mixtape. Now, as you can see, I wrote them. I said, this song is on my mixtape. I made it last week. It mentions Farrakhan. If y'all hear it, know that it's not new and it was not created after our live stream so there is no breach in agreement 
dot, 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 respect and understanding. Okay? Brother Rizzo responded, understand my brother. Brother Ben responded, yes, sir. And so as y'all can under, as y'all can see, we have been handling the situation correctly. Y'all old niggas, excuse my language, is the ones trying to carry some shit on. And so this last video, I want to show you all to really defend my brother Reza Islam and myself from this foolish, crazy lie is him talking about him going back and forth with somebody on Facebook who was an elder, not me and him. So how it turned into me and him at this point, like I said, I believe it's clout chasing or he just done, you know, completely lost his mind because he may really believe this is what happened. Don't know how, don't know why, but uh, check the video out for yourself. And so we have youth that was able to say, you know what, this shit is getting out of hand, including myself, let's resolve it. And we have an older entity that is still trying to egg on the shit. And so this goes to show me that the adults just don't respect the youth shit, period. And so this is not about a maturity thing at this point. This is not about a people thing at this point. This is about a nigga ego thing at this point. So I hope this video clears up uh, the lie. He said this on two big platforms at this time. So I just wanted to make a response video and clear my name, clear my brother's name. And, uh, you know, listen, at the end of the day, I don't have no beef. I only fight with those who fight with me. You know, as far as words and threats and that nature online, like Kevin Gates say, man, it sounds good until it takes place. But the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan has, has heard much worse, has seen much worse, and has been through much worse. And uh, I want to end this response with a message from the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan about certain situations or similar situations where somebody is bad mouthing or threatening and things of that nature. Here's the spirit of the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan. And if anybody claims to be a follower of the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan and don't have this view, this perspective, this response, then no, it is not representing the Nation of Islam or the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan. Our teaching is we fight with those who fight with us. We turn the cheek on spiritual. We turn the cheek on words and talking. We just don't turn the cheek if you touch us physically so hear it directly from the minister himself on how we handle these type of situations because at the end of the day he's still one of those that got to be saved at the end of the day he's still one of those who got to be redeemed at the end of the day although he has said some crazy stuff according to the teachings in our minister that's still our brother you know and our goal is to see the god within him but we can't let falsehood and foolishness like this go out and have people thinking that we are something that we're not uh we've done something that we haven't it's just irresponsible um and i appreciate your brother tune for allowing me to make this response video and put it back up so with that being said assalamu alaikum we're gonna close out with the honorable minister lewis farrakhan i don't say that you should harm them i don't think you should you know because you cannot do to anybody what God can do. In fact, I want all of you to get killing out of your mind. You talk killing people too much. It's true. When you don't like somebody, the first thing come in your mind, I'll kill that nigga. Off that nigga. Somebody leave the kingdom or leave the nation and act a fool, I'll kill that nigga. Nigga ought to be killed. You just shut up. Cut that foolishness out. They ain't your people. The hell right you got to kill people you didn't produce. Keep your damn hands off these people. If they don't attack you, leave them alone. You scared of them or something? The hell can they say to hurt the kingdom of God? Unless you don't believe. If you're in the kingdom and don't believe you're in the kingdom, that's a different story. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You can't hurt God's work with your mouth. Go ahead. Go ahead. As long as nobody attack you physically, leave your people alone. Stop talking about killing your people. The most ignorant of them may turn out to be better than you. Go ahead. Go 
The most wicked of them may turn out to be better than you who think you're so righteous. Malcolm should never have been killed. No, he should not have been killed. God permitted it. But it's wrong, brother and sister, for any of you to think about taking your people's life. You didn't create it. You show that you're a disbeliever in the God. If any one of you rebel against me and go out and speak evil against me and whatnot, I don't pay you no attention. People come to me, I think so and so ought to be killed. I said, for what? What you gonna kill him for? Something he's saying that's upsetting you? Well, he talking about you. Well, if he talking about me, then I should be the one upset. <laughs> And if I'm not upset, what right are you to be upset? I love our people, brother and sister. I hate to see funerals. People have done me wrong. Still do it. That's on you. That ain't on me. But I don't think anyone should go take another human being's life that can be redeemed. You don't have that right. And if it breaks under the stress, then you know that that's not the poet you were looking for. You throw that one away and get you another one. See? But he had to be able to take, listen to me, God, take the evil of his own brothers and not respond. Because if you respond and kill your brother, you can't raise your brother. 
If you respond and throw your brother away because you see in him that which you have to deliver him from, you can never reach what God wants you to reach.